Good morning, class family. It's a thankful Thursday. Let's look at our message together. Show me your team and the class family. Follow with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Let's start the date. May 26, 2022. Dear class family, today is Thursday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will review the ABCs and fast words. Next, we will read Grumpy Monkey and share our thinking about the book. Then we will put ideas in a web. Last, we will revise and edit our story. It is a great day. Love, Miss Joyner. Oh, it is a great day. Let's look back and reread the message to discuss what we're doing today at school in language arts. Go ahead and let's point underneath the date right here. Use your finger to point. Ready? May 26, 2022. We are getting at the very end of May. Did you know that? We only have five more days in May. Do you know what month it'll become after May? Hmm. Well, what do you think? We'll have to see because next week on Tuesday, it becomes the new month. I wonder what month it is and what it's called. Do you know? Let's go ahead and after the date, reread the greeting. Dear class family, after our greeting, look at the first telling sentence. Do you remember what day of the week we're on today? What is it? It is Thursday. If you remember that, great job. Let's go ahead and reread that sentence together. Use your finger to point. Today is Thursday. Remember when you see TH, tell me your teeth, th, th, Thursday, Thursday. Good readers, remember when you have the blend of TH that you go th, remember? Like TH, thumb, th. All right, let's continue. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, you know that's true, class family. We learn a lot at school every day. That's what students do when they go to school and they pump their brains with knowledge and they learn different subjects from teachers everywhere. First, we'll review the ABCs and fast words. Okay, class family, so we'll be using our word wall as a resource. That's what good writers and readers do at school. We're gonna be going through the word wall, the letters, sounds, the picture that matches that letter, in addition to the fast words. Remember, we use this resource especially when we're writing. And we're going to be using all of these words and we need to know them to know we can spell them in kindergarten. So be ready for first grade next year. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the next telling sentence. Next, we will read Grumpy Monkey and share our thinking about the book. Okay, class family. So, Today, when we're doing our reading, we're going to be great communicator and collaborator. We are going to be reading the story called Grumpy Monkey. Before we read Grumpy Monkey, we're going to review the parts of the book using a Jack Hartman song called Parts of the Book. So shout out to Jack Hartman's YouTube channel. So we'll go over the parts of the book, the front cover, back cover, the title. Remember when we flip inside the title page? Remember every book has an author and illustrator's name and then the spine of the book holds the pages together and then when you turn the pages that's how they stay is the spine right there. So we'll go over the parts of the book then we'll go ahead and look at Grumpy Monkey. When we share our thinking we're going to be listening and answering questions about who, what, when, where, why, and how in the story of Grumpy Monkey. And then we will put ideas in a web so good readers can organize their thoughts and put it in a web or other graphic organizer. We're going to be using this type of web. So in the middle we have the title and I just put the book cover grumpy monkey and we'll be brainstorming keywords, feelings, ideas, images, or symbols using text evidence from grumpy monkey. Last we'll revise and edit our story. Okay so during writing workshop we're going to revise and edit our story. We'll get your materials together. 
You're going to be using your crayons, colored pencils, uh, your alphabet chart. Remember, we're going to have the word wall up. You're going to revise and edit it. And let's look back. That's what good writers do. So make sure that your writing is easy to read. When you do that, think of the four things that we've talked about when writing a sentence. Remember, one starts with a capital letter. So remember, good writers use capital letters to start sentences. Two, make sure your sentence tells a complete idea. Three, you're going to have finger spaces between the words so they don't smush. And then four, a punctuation mark at the end. In kindergarten, we use periods all the time for our telling sentences and our statements and our writing. If you're using an exclamation mark for a, um, an exciting sentence or a speech bubble, you can. If you have a question within it, then a question mark. Okay, remember in kindergarten, we say things out loud, listen to the sounds, so write a letter for each sound. And today, we are revising. Okay, so class family, it is a great day, love Miss Jordan, it is a great day, it's a fantastic day, and a thankful Thursday. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Um, in addition to all of these special things, I wanted to share with you Class family, you are going to finish coloring your Plants Parts books book, and we will be re-reading that in class as we observe our lima beans and see when they begin to grow roots and sprout with the stem and leaves. So we're going to go ahead and color some more, reread the book, and use this in class. And later, when we read The World According to Humphrey, we'll have Humphrey the Hamster in class with us. And we'll be starting the next chapter today at school. All right, we're going to go ahead and answer this question and practice being a great communicator. It's a would you rather question. Would you rather eat onions or worms? Why? That's an interesting question. Would you rather eat onions or worms? Why? All right, think about your answer and we'll do our, we'll mark it in a tally, um, a T-chart with tally marks under onions or worms for your choices and you'll share your reason and practice being a great communicator and collaborator as you listen to your friends share their ideas too. Would you rather eat onions or worms?